this happens is another wee Peugeot. Uh, probably want to knock sense out to be honest with you, this one. See, it's lovely and warm here in Scotland. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, if I would have taken the codes out, it had codes for knock sensor. A uh, customer was honest enough and told us that it was being at another uh, garage or a friend or something, um, and they have. Uh, reset it is what he said. Um, so I've seen this uh, with another, um, with another Peugeot, and we, we reset it a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it's back, it came back yesterday um, with the exact same message just had up here uh, impossible start in 300 miles. Um, and basically, it was this knock sensor heating, uh, is what we had a, a fault with. So we'll, we'll test that now. Engine off, the test must be performed, no action must be performed on the vehicle. Okay, we will hit that with our lovely Hotel Maxis 919. Absolutely superb this. Uh, and we have just updated it. So we'll hit okay, test is in progress. It's saying there's no fault. Uh, so it's still in progress, mind you, but it says no fault at a minute, so. So we'll let it do its thing. Uh, we'll try and reset it. I mean, I don't know what kind of machine they had or. Um, you know, where's it update? This is a licensed machine from Autel. Um, so if we were really struck, stuck, um, we could phone up Autel, give them a number on the back of the machine. Uh, they'll take control of the machine. We'll hook up to the car, you know, and just test that it is actually the, uh, the machine that's at fault. Uh, or if it's the car, you know, and they can tell you that way. Um, so they're really good. Really good support as well for the Autel guys. Um, I've not had any issues with this machine at all. Um, all on email, we were hacked. Um, I mean, I'm probably getting it, getting it going again, uh, just with the email. That was all. But it's, and it was the same. My wee boy uh, last year decided he was going to hack. He was on an Xbox ban uh, you know, for good behaviour. <laughs> um, no, so he was on a bad behaviour. Sorry, so he was on an Xbox ban, and he decided I could just hack that. You know, I'm new for the Matrix. Me. Um, but he failed, but what he did was he blocked all my, uh, my email, so in getting this I had to phone the hotel back up and they were great and they got it back on again, um, and then we were hacked this year, and <laughs> oh, it was a nightmare, it was a nightmare, and it's still ongoing, Police Scotland, they're still doing it, it was quite a vast scam by the looks of things, so aye, uh, well it's just taken an incredibly long time, isn't it, so we will cut back in a minute. Right, well that was, um, Taking an incredibly long time. We know we had a fault code for the knock sensor, so I'm just going to go ahead and I've run into a um, go back out and show you where this is in the hotel. So, uh, any special function, park special function, service action, um, work on the emissions control circuit. You know, you've got to check the mobilizer code and engine ECU, stop start system, work in the fuel circuit. Uh, we're going to go into emissions control. And we are going to go to uh, reinitialization after add blue. Uh, sorry, Dnox system, we'll go to that. Ignition on, engine not running, okay. Start system faults, reinitialization. Operation is completed. Reinitialization was successful. Next step, turn the ignition off. And that will get us down. Uh, I don't know what the, the other Gary's did or the other technician did, so um, I think this is going to need a, a sensor to be honest because I hear there's 10 sitting on the shelf at yeah, Citroen, which is the same same thing, so um, same, same cars really, haven't they? So we'll see, I don't think it will do anything in this, but um, we're going to have a look at that blue one, turn the ignition on. On, that was a success. Happy days. Um, so, ignition on, engine not running. Okay, add the oh, death injector replacement. Program complete. So, we'll just see what it does. Um, fuel circuit things, there's a lot of things in there you can do. So, code normal injectors and stuff. Um, but aye, so we will. Well, there's parts replacements as well, so you know if we put a new um, you know, air, air flow meter or something on it, 
Uh, turbo, EGR, you know, all of this stuff. Work on engine, let's see what's in there. Flywheel replacement, replace the blue, go replace the battery. A lot of people don't know this nowadays, but modern cars, uh, Audis, Mercedes, things like that. Um, you go and replace the battery, there is usually a procedure now, you know, where you need to actually teach the battery in. So you need to put the numbers from the battery into your machine, and then that tells the ECU or the body control module, whatever one, um, that's got your battery in there. So there's lots of things that, that people are doing nowadays, and you know, I've seen cars go for two years and then they start to show faults with batteries and stuff like that, and that's specifically what it can be sometimes, it's not been taught in, so you know, you've got an intelligent battery sensor on your batteries now, um, so yeah, they really need to know what they're, what they're doing, what they're talking to, so I mean if it's got a, you know, a Bosch battery in it uh, for its whole first 8-10 years and then somebody sticks that in the kind of aftermarket one in it and it doesn't know it's had a change, it, so I mean they're going to charge that battery as well as it could, um, so I uh, lots of things to look out for nowadays. Alright, well we know that uh, this had been reset before, so and how long it will stay out for we don't know, we'll let the car come up the temp, um, we'll see what it does. Um, I, I mean it seems to be running okay, <coughs> it seems to be running okay so we'll see what it does. If we set it all, it might just come back on again, um, it might just come back on again, Demora. you know once the exhaust cools down again, you know it's uh, what it was saying, the, the fault proof, it was, it was the heated part. Um, so it's maybe that, you know, it'll stay off for a little while, you know, until the exhaust cools back down. Um, and then once that heated bit needs to heat, um, well, let me know, let me know do it, but we'll go back and scan it. See what we've got. The full scan. That is running, to be honest, I should have it switched off. So it's not coming back at the minute, but I think we just need to monitor it and see how it goes, and then we'll get a uh, sensor to up for it if it needs it. No, oh, that's just the machine. I think braking system, aye, so that's just the machine. It's telling you it's been reactivated now. So aye, it's just basically the machine going in. So it's not got any engine faults back at the minute, but I suspect it will come back. I really do. So aye. We'll, uh, we'll go and get a sensor on the I think, if it needs it. And hopefully this one's okay. So, another Peugeot. I looked at this one another week ago. I reset all the Dinox system on it. Um, and it's come back. So, it's probably the same as the one we looked at the other day as well, 308. The customer said he'd had it reset and it's obviously come back as well. So, we want this Nox sensor changed. So, five codes. And the engine management on this wheel of your electric fan. So come on, come on, come on. One EBS is good. We fixed that on that before. That's good because that's a concern on this little van. Hmm. Alright, so there we are. Not a lot of systems on these V vans. I want to come up with these V Peugeots and start getting. Uh, UVA folks, you see it flashing away there, the UVA, and it'll cut up here. Uh, impossible start like 300 miles as well, so yeah. So, probably going to want that NOx gas sensor changed on it. Um, it's just a diagnostic machine, check the radio, to be honest. Oh, come on. Right, there we are, 96. Right, so 100%, that's us, only the last. So that is what we do with this Nox sensor. Nox content blocked. So, so we need to change the sensor up. Communication invalid. Not communicating on the emissions control network. Right, so 
Right. So they're all having issues with these knock sensors. All of them. Right, so we're sending that to our shells and we need to start diagnosing this NOx gas sensor now. Just make sure it's got all its feeds down to it and um, we'll check the wiring on it. Make sure that's good um, and then we'll get a sensor ordered up for it. 